फ्रॉम द सम फिर आ जाती है या Hello and welcome to A for Life Live. Uh, I'm your host Umair, and with us today we have the great Azar Sahel and Yusuf Karai, both uh, legends in the local classical music scene, con- contemporary classical. I would I would call it. Um, so over to you, Azar. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, good. And it's lovely that every time you come to Karachi, we do something or other. So this time we're happy to have you for a live session and great excuse to invite Yusuf Bai here, who I've been looking forward to host here as well. Um, but today, you have your album, se, which you did with us, Khayal. Yes. So you're going to feature some pieces from that. Exactly. And uh, also, congrats on your recent nomination for Lux uh, through your big footwork, I guess. Thank you so much. Yeah. And that's great news as well. So over to you. Let's let's start. So I'm basically going to be starting uh, today's evening with Rag Yaman, which is uh, an evening raga, and uh, it is comprised uh, of swars in the orientation that it goes in the ascending order. It goes nire gama dhani resa and vapsi pe sare swar lagte hain sani dha pe maga resa, and uh, it is sung at the time of sunset. So I hope that I can portray the mood of the rag, and. Uh, do justice to it so with all your permission aap sab ki ijazat se ijazat hai ji raag yaman Hare Krishna 
was a uh, evening rag yaman so what i did was that i sang the original bandish that i did in the album kinare and it was followed by a tarana which is uh, usually sung in phrases that come from persian and arabic so this tarana was in the signature 6x4 and the bandish was uh, in a prototype of 4x4 which is 
also called Adha, Sitar Khani, hmm. Sundar Khani in some cases. That's why I was counting a cycle of 12. Yeah. Because 4 and 6. Yeah. Nice. So basically the next uh, composition is going to be based in uh, Rag Charo Keshi. This is usually sung in the wee hours of the morning before the first star of the morning is basically com basically comes out and uh, charo kishi ki khas baat ye hai ki it has this feeling of longing and uh, an unsettled uh, ambiance to it and what we do basically is at the major scale we tune the sixth and the seventh to a flat so I'm going to tune my Sur Mandal a little mm. so that I can sing this uh, <coughs> scale for you all. time to change the Kanpur as well. Yeah. Because I set it to Yaman. So we're going to change would it to Charo Kishi. Would you mind telling the audience a little bit about the instrument as well, the Surmandal? Yeah. So Surmandal <coughs> is basically um, a, a German instrument. It has its origins from Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Germany it's called an auto harp, basically. Mm. And uh, what happens with the uh, Surmandal is that we take off uh, uh, a bridge on the top mm -hmm. as you can see there are segments over here that I've taken off the bridge the bridge basically has keys by which you can transpose the entire scale a key mm. of C a key of D you press right. that and, and pluck it like a guitar from the top right so we take off that bridge and then we tune the strings according to the rag right then it becomes a sur mandal. and how many strings uh, in this one uh, in this one they're 25 mm. but uh, I mean the prototype keeps on changing okay I mean, if you have a bassier voice you need a bigger sur mandal mm. and if you have a, a mid range so i chose the size of the sur mandal according to my voice okay yeah so i'm making the fourth note mm. natural the sixth will become a flat. Wasn't it Ustad Bade Badami Khasa that introduced this into our music? Uh, the use of the sermon? Yes. yes. Mm. So and we're talking how long ago? The middle of the last century. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And an interesting thing to note about people who pursue this music is you tend to become teachers as well. <laughs> like I, both of you are, are teaching. <laughs> but I think it's just such a body of knowledge that it's it would be a shame not to pass it on. Yeah, it has to be transferred. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now the instrument is tuned to Charo Keshi. Uh, I'll begin this uh, composition. Um, is basically... Guru Gyan Prakash Koshji's composition. And Guru Gyan Prakash Koshji was uh, um, Bade Guruji's uh, Pandit, Ajay Chakraborty's guru. Um, he excelled in tabla as well as creating compositions. Um, and he has many noted uh, uh, you know, students like Pandit Anindo Chatterjee and uh, Pandit Ajay Chakraborty. Um, so this composition in Chairo Keshi is going to be in Teen Tal. 
एंड द बोलर गाओ रसना हरी गुन गाओ Abbas Ali Khan is tuned in and he says he loves Charu Khaji. Na <laughs> 
That oh. was Rag Charukishi, and uh, over to the final performance of this uh, live set. It's uh, going to be uh, Rag Behag, which is uh, basically sung after the evening uh, in the night. We're moving to that cycle, and Behag is basically um, a major scale with the variation of a fourth sharp. So it goes Nisa Gama Pa, Nisa Gama Pa Nisa, and comes back with both the fourths. So I'm going to change the Tanpura, and in the meantime also tune our Sur Mandal, and over to the last. Y yeah, <laughs> while you do that, uh, uh, Yusuf Bhai, why don't you tell the audience a bit about your activities with the Tars group and what you've been doing in general since so lockdown uh, as well. As you were talking about teaching and transference, yeah. The last couple of years, uh, the activities of Tars Group have been, of course, uh, also owing to the pandemic, um, they've been submarined. But um, we've been focusing on um, finding ways to get more youth to engage with, uh, with South Asian music. And so at Habib University, um, we found this opportunity where Center for South Asian Music has been established, oh, wow. and um, they also offer what's called a South Asian Music Minor. The students can actually minor in South Asian Music. Wow, I didn't know that. And um, when was that launched? Uh, this was launched uh, last year. Wow. And um, it's of course there's been quite a lot of uh, struggle leading up to that, and I of think course. we've uh, now managed not only academic courses for students to take, but all the students of the university can actually take instrument lessons wow, very nice. uh, outside of their academic uh, classes. Mm -hmm. Much like they could, uh, you know, do sports and, yeah. and other recreational things. Yeah. This is something that is now offered as a part of the university experience. That's great. So it's about 150 students every semester that are learning either sitar, tabla, wow. violin, vocals. Wow. And um, and that has actually shown us, it's been a great case study of how much this is needed yeah. in, um, uh, in Pakistan, yeah. especially because yeah. uh, of the kind of dwindling patronage of yeah. Yeah. Uh, not only the musical practitioners, but yeah. also of institutions. Absolutely. Um, I think until and unless institutions don't take this up, yeah. uh, it's very... And, and our goal here at the center has not been to create great musicians. We've got a lot of great musicians in yeah. Pakistan. We don't have listeners. Yes, that's so a very good point. To actually very good point. Uh, Appreciation. A cultured listener. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of where we're headed. Yeah. Loved, lovely to hear about that. We'll chat more on that later. <coughs> Gee, let's so let's move on to our next piece. Over to Bihar. So this again is uh, Bandish by Ustad Bade Ghulam Ali Khan Sahib and the cycle is Teen Tal, Abdur Atalagi. So with your permission, Raag Behag.
Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.